So where are you from? I am actually from Durango, Colorado. I have lived here going on 16 years. I'm a local and I really wanted to stay in Durango. I'm originally from Asheville, North Carolina. So I was born in Mexico, but I moved here when I was very young, so I sort of considered Durango my home. I chose exercise physiology because I want to, after I graduate, I want to apply to physical therapy school to become a physical therapist, a pediatric physical therapist, because I have a younger brother who has had a lot of benefits from it and it's just really changed my life and my brother's life around. He has special needs and that's why I'm so close to him. Uh, we're very, very close. I've, you know, spent a lot of time, my parents were working a lot, so I kind of had to take on that role of being there for him and really just being there for each other and, and I wanted to continue to do that for other families, so I wanna, that's why I want to become a pediatric physical therapist working with children. Um, I really love being outside and Durango is a perfect place for that and when I came and visited campus I just fell in love and knew I had to come to Fort Lewis. I really have always had a passion for sciences and I had never really like learned about geology before and I took an intro to geology class and I just fell in love and I feel like there's just so many different directions that you can go with geology. So I traveled to Myanmar in 2019 with the Village Aid Project and we helped implement a water system and after that I was like oh my gosh I want to do this as my job <laughs> so I became really interested in you know all of the inner workings of like a water system wastewater systems water resources stuff like that I chose philosophy Gosh, it was just something that I had the opportunity to try my freshman year, and the professors were profound. They opened my eyes to a whole new world of thought and um, like thinking mechanisms, and it really struck me as fascinating. It's probably a huge doorway into understanding mental health better um, and what brings people joy and what brings people sadness, and I think philosophy can definitely open up that door. Some of the scholarships that I got actually allowed me to stay in Durango um, since I got a full ride here. Through these scholarships, I've been able to come out of college without any debt, which I re am really grateful for. <laughs> There's not a lot of women in geology, and I feel like having a scholarship available for underserved people or other minorities is like awesome and to help pursue that gap. I can't even imagine really um, what my life would be like without the scholarships. Probably a lot more stressful, probably a lot harder. The scholarships have afforded me so many amazing opportunities. I was able to experiment with my first year of college, not really um, having a financial burden on my shoulders, um, and that's really what led me to my philosophy degree, is the opportunity to pick and choose classes, things that I found were interesting, rather than um, what I felt like was in my financial budget. I've been pretty good at math, but I think I was really um, intimidated and just, you know, scared kind of to be a woman in STEM, but I've had like one of the best experiences with a lot of the professors in the engineering department here and a lot of the female professors I think have just paved such an excellent road for young women wanting to follow in their footsteps. Dr. Guang Yong. He, he's an exercise uh, physiology professor and he teaches two classes. He also teaches like a senior seminar. In his class it was when I realized like this is why I want to major in exercise physiology and want to become a physical therapist. It was like the class that was like this is my why. I would like to thank all my donors who made this possible and made my college experience a thousand times better. <laughs> thank you so much to all the donors. You know, I hope you know that there are so many people out there and like young women like me that it really allows me this awesome opportunity to do what I want to do and it encourages me and the support means everything. Continuing higher education is something difficult because mainly money and just a lot of barriers because you know, you don't have that family support because you don't have family that went to college. So you kind of have to find your own people to try to help you or try to navigate it all by yourself. 
gosh, I have plans to go on and get a master's, um, maybe in philosophy or theology, and without the donations and the support um, and the scholarships, it wouldn't even be an option on the table, so. If I hadn't had the scholarships, I would have been incapable of continuing my education. College is very expensive, and without it, I, I wouldn't have been able to continue. No, I just wanna say thank you for believing in me and my potential. I uh, hope to make you guys proud and continue to get good grades to, to make, it, make it worth it for you guys, your investment. <laughs>